here's a news headline that I'm sure no one likes to see. More taxes ahead. Piling pressure on Kenyans with more taxes could cripple efforts to grow Kenya's economy. At least that's what our, our analysts are arguing. This follows a revelation by the National Treasury that it plans to restructure the income tax and excise duty to raise additional revenue. Michael Karanja explains. In a new twist in their bid to raise revenue, the government is at an advanced stage of restructuring income tax and excise duty, a move that is not likely to sit well with Kenyans, already feeling the VAT pinch that has since seen consumer prices shoot through the roof. We are now embarking on reform, reforming other taxes to ensure that they are in line with our Vision 2030 objectives. Treasury wants to amend the Income Tax Act so as to impose withholding tax on winnings from gaming and betting as well as adjust the capital gains tax under the income tax to formulate modalities for its effective enforcement. This is all being done as the government looks for ways of raising the 1.6 trillion shillings in the 2013-2014 financial year. But analysts are of the opinion that higher taxation might just be a double-edged sword that kills economic development. Today's borrowing is tomorrow's taxation. Tomorrow has reached. On closer examination, the adjustments on taxation continue to hit pressure on the same Kenyans the government wants to cushion. With 6% growth envisioned in this year, higher taxation might just not incentivize the working population to pull in the same direction. A raise in taxation does not necessarily yield more revenues because a raise in taxation changes the behavior of your general citizenry and uh, for, for the higher income earners, um, a disincentive to produce. So why work harder if they're going to earn less? The government has a tough balancing act of easing off huge borrowing and plugging the budget deficit, but the path chosen through taxation might not be the best alternative. Michael Karanja, KTN Business Today.